Hi guys, welcome to your 15th job at tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you about static. So let's get started. Open up Eclipse. Um, why not? Okay, um, there we go. Um, go ahead and make a new class. Call it Flare. Oops. Make sure to right click on the main class and click play. There we go. Now we have a new class and we're going to oh, make a constructor called a uh, new constructor. So we do play in public. Play out. Then we do, um, just do a uh, game equals n. The end player in the parentheses put string and and then here do private and parentheses string string and name sorry. Then, um, what we want to do now is we want to do make another method called public void print info. System that prints fine. Anyway, is Amount player. See, okay, so we're gonna make a new variable called an integer called um player. So we do it static int. Um, we call it to zero, and now we do in the in the constructor do amount plus plus. All that does is add one. So now let's use this stuff. So in your main method, make a new object player p one equals new player um, then we're going to put the um, method p1 dot print invel invel. Then we're going to make a new uh, object player p2 with new player. Um, but I don't. I would do p2 that and in L. and then in this we have the um, we have so what this is is we make a new object we put parameter the name and we just print the info and send down here so let me show you this and I'll tell you what it does so it does player's name is Bob and there is one player player's <laughs> player's name is Dolan and there is two players. So how this let me give you let me show you one more thing. So have it in amount test equals zero. Let me just copy this. Amount test plus plus. So now watch this. I'm just gonna put it like this. It's not gonna look that good. 
So there we go. So now let's run the program. And it says, okay, so this one, this is where, it, so now you're going to learn actually. Okay, so we make, so it does players, name is Bob. We, we declare that here. Then we print it out. And it sets all the stuff to these. Then, um, we, um, print it out. So, player's name is, uh, name, and there is amount, yeah, player's amount test. So, now, these numbers I'm going to tell you about. So, static means it does not change. The number does not go back to zero when you make a new object. It does not go to the declared type. So, static means it does not change. So, you have static, okay? And this one, we did amount, we did amount plus plus, and we did amount, uh, that was static. And so, it went one, then it went to two. And this one, the other one, because it was not static, it did a plus, then it just went then it reset itself to zero and it went back to plus one. So static means it does not change and that means anything can access it. So if we did this down here. So if we went system dot out dot print print one player dot Player dot. Oops, we need to make this public though. Public. Player dot amount. You can access static variables without a method. So it just prints out two because it runs through this stuff and it's equal to two. So static means it does not change. So we have public, so once again, we have uh, amount, it adds one, so we'll print out one, then uh, name, I mean, amount test, it has, it ha so it adds one, so it will print out one, and then it goes again, and this one is set to one, it's still set to one, but this one gets set to zero again. Then after that, it adds another one. So now this is to one, and this is to two now. So that's how that works. <laughs> it might sound confusing, but go over this tutorial a couple times, and you will get it. Now, um, let's let me see if I have time. I might have a little bit of time. You can also put objects inside of an array. So if you then, uh, um, player, you have to do player, you put the type, so player, uh, p equals, oops, p, so you have to put the type, so, because it's the object player, because we're holding the object, and the object is player, we put equals, then let's set it to two things. We're we'll set it to new player Bob new player Seth. So there we go. And now we can do P one at print in the P2 P2 that print in in the so now let's run this fast you got an error somewhere oh <laughs> my bad it always starts at once so we have a zero Remember, arrays always start at zero. 
That's really dope. So I do two. There is two and there is two because it because these run because we made the objects already. So that's why these two. That's why the um. That's why the stack variable equals two. Um. If you don't get this right now, this stuff, just ignore it. You don't have to learn it. But the other one, I want you to know what it is. So static means it does not change. And, um, and that's about it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe. See ya. Good luck.